All right, first we'll start simple. What's one plus one? You're right, two. What's one times one? Also right, one. Okay, now, what's 1.1 plus 0.9? Good, still two. And what's 1.1 times 0.9? Well, it's actually 0.99. Isn't it true that 1.1 is a 10% increase from one? And isn't it true that 0.9 is a 10% decrease from one? Therefore, if you start with 100% of something, then increase it by 10%, then decrease it by 10%, the result is 99% of what you started with. Okay, so then the problem is that we're decreasing after we increase, right? That means that there's more to take out, right? Well, isn't multiplication commutative? So then wouldn't 0.9 times 1.1 also be 0.99? So then the order doesn't matter. In fact, yes, the order does not matter. The fact that it is a percentage decrease is just more serious than the same percentage increase. If you increase by 100%, then decrease by 100%, the result is zero in all cases. The same is true for the same process, but in reverse as well. There's an old expression that goes something like, losing some amount is more perceivably negative than gaining the same amount is perceivably positive. It's why humans tend to take loss, well, very poorly. But never fear, math is here to tell you that your feelings are mathematically validated. And with that, have a good one.